welcome back to yet another episode of More Sewing with Michelle. Today's topic is about gift giving, one of the things that I love to do. And I know it's a favorite thing for all of us crafters out there. Um, I spend a lot of time thinking about what I'm going to give someone. If I make it, what am I going to do to um, make them smile and to brighten their day? So I brought in some wonderful things that'll make it a little bit easier. I brought in some cards and I've got puzzles to show you. But I'm also going to talk about the items that I think are a great gift item for anyone that you have on your sewing gift list. So let's break it down. Let's get going on this week's More Sewing with Michelle. So these are the items that we have for you today to purchase. Um, all of the puzzles, the two puzzles, and also the cards, they are like, to me, a traditional good gift for anyone. They help with your mental stability. They keep you, they give you mental exercises when you do puzzles or cards. They help to improve your memory. They improve problem solving with puzzles. Um, they can help to increase your IQ and um, also for spatial um, visual aspects, it helps you um, with your brain. So it's always something good to keep you occupied um, and to kill, you know, those dead times. Um, I know that both of these things at the start of the pandemic that we've had here recently have definitely helped me get through it. And um, if you go to travel, they're both perfect things if you're going to take to travel. They're both easy to travel with. You don't need power or electricity. It's one of those things where um, teach your kids and your grandkids how to play cards and how to do a puzzle and the value in them. Um, and it's always better to do both of these things with friends. It just makes things um, a little bit more fun. Now, I know in my family, um, like I said, I love to do puzzles. And generally, I have a space out um, when I have the puzzle. And when people come over, they kind of help my kids. Um, put it together and it's just you know something to do together and just chat about whatever is going on in the world or in their lives i do have um, a friend she has a designated area in her dining room she has a puzzle going at all times and it's one of those things you kind of come down you plop down you add a few pieces and it's a conversation starter so i you know puzzles to me are just an easy traditional type gifts that are so valuable and cards playing cards my family loves to play cards now I started with um, my grandparents and my my parents and my aunts and uncles would all play canasta and I love canasta I love um, any type of card game I love the interaction I am a little bit competitive but card games are one of those things where you can basically take anywhere, like I said, and you're going to get the value um, with these cards and you're going to be able to use them wherever you can. So these things I brought in um, because I love them and they're one of those gifts I think are great for anybody. So we've got the two puzzles here that I'm going to show a little bit close up on later. And we also have the two decks of cards. And you're going to want to stick around so that you can also see the other gift giving ideas I have. Okay, so let me show you the close up of these cool cards that I brought in. So the first one we have is from um, Lori Holt and Be in My Bonnet. It's called My Happy Place. And these cards are so cool. So let me show you the front. You can see that they have a quilt design, which is really fun. So it's like a quilt. And then look, look at all the cards though. Every single one of them have a different sewing moffet in the center. So we've got pin cushions, we've got fabrics, we've got handwork, we have scissors and um, bobbins, irons, measuring tape, the all important sewing machine. So this is just a great gift for anyone that sews as well as plays cards. So that's the one deck that we have there. Once again, this one is My Happy Place. And then we also have another deck here. Now look at the designs. 
on these ones. It is just gorgeous. Now, this one is called Harriet's Journey from Elm Creek Quilts. They are a skinnier card. On the front, you will see that they also have a traditional quilt um, on every single card. Now, their cards on the other side, the only ones that will have a quilt design are the face cards. The rest of them, the, the numbers will all be blank. But look at all the different designs here. So much fun. And once again, this one is Harriet's Journey. So we've got two different card decks for you today. We have My Happy Place, once again, um, Lori Holt Designs. And then we have Harriet's Journey from Elm Creek Quilts. Now, My Happy Place are wider cards, um, also known as a poker deck. And they're a little bit wider because originally they thought the wider card was harder for people to cheat. So that would be a little bit wider or My Happy Place. Now, Harriet's Journey, those are skinnier cards, and they're also known as bridge cards. Now, bridge cards make it easier if you're playing a game like Bridge or Canasta, where you have lots of cards to hold in your hand. So we have the two options here today, My Happy Place and Harriet's Journey. Both of them are going to make a great gift for anyone that loves playing with cards. So the first puzzle that I'm going to show you here is Thimble Blossoms. I love it. Um, I love the bold, bright, fun um, design that it has. It has a lot of quilting things. Um, you'll see that there's scissors and threads and rotary color cutters on the front. Now these pieces, it's a thousand piece puzzle. I like my puzzles to where I'm going to be challenged. I don't want to have something that I'm going to, um, you know, get done in a couple minutes. I like to have my puzzles take me a long time. So the more pieces, the better for me. Um, but the pieces are nice to hold. They're thick. They're not really flimsy. I've had some puzzles where um, you know that they're not going to last. These puzzles are going to last you a good long time. And I love that Thimble Blossoms has an actual poster type thing that you can unravel. And that helps you when you're trying to piece together your puzzle. So you can see I've kind of started a little bit here. I think puzzles are so therapeutic. I, um, I know that there is strategy to people that do puzzles. And I tend to go for a specific shape and then I work on my borders. Everyone's different. But I'm telling you, this puzzle, Thimble Blossoms, is going to give you and whoever you decide to give it to a lot of enjoyment for many, many hours. So once again, this is Thimble Blossoms. Okay, so the second puzzle that I have for you today on our Sew and Gift episode is a puzzle um, with a design by Lori Holt from Be In My Bonnet. And um, isn't that sweet? It's an actual design that she made and a quilt. And let me show you the puzzle. It's actually a thousand piece puzzle. And I like that my puzzles are challenging. Um, I don't want to get my puzzles done right away. And um, challenging like opening the box type of challenge. <laughs> Let me see if I can get this open. There we go. Okay, so we got it open. I love that the box is sturdy too. I know that there's been puzzles that I have bought that the box is so not um, worthy of the puzzle because I like to use the tops and the bottoms to sort my puzzle pieces. So this has a nice secure box. Now this puzzle is a thousand pieces of fun. So we've got all the pieces in here. I always get drawn to the border pieces first. Um, these are also a good quality. They're going to last. Those little nibs and um, pieces are not going to bend because it's a good quality puzzle. And um, little known fact, let me give you some Michelle puzzle trivia. Um, during the pandemic, I was doing lots of puzzles. And um, one of them, when I got to the end, I had one space left. And I had four puzzle pieces and none of those puzzle pieces were the right ones to fit in that space. It was making me nuts. So finally, um, I figured out that I had duplicates of some of the other pieces and um, I finally called the company up and we got it all straightened out and they said that sometimes 
you know, stuff like that happens, but it had never happened to me to before. And um, I hope it never happens to me again or anyone else I know. But puzzle, like I said, they're so therapeutic. All these little pieces, all these bright colors. Um, once again, good quality. And this is the Perim Puzzle um, designed by Lori Holt from Be In My Bonnet. Don't forget, you can go to mores-so.com or click on the link in the description where you can pick up the cards that I have for you today as well as the puzzles. And don't forget gift cards or stopping on in at any of our five locations in Brea, Huntington Beach, Corona, Mission Viejo, and Temecula, where you can get any of the other gift ideas that I spoke of today. Once again, mores-so.com or click on the link in the description. You're going to want to pick some stuff up today. So let's talk about gift giving. So I've got, I've got a list, don't we all? We have a list of all the people that we need to buy something for. Um, and this one is my sewing friends. So, um, and my mom, because <laughs> she always loves something um, fun to, um, to get as a gift. But anyway, so I have my list like we all do, and I will, you know, kind of mark up what exactly I want to get, what I want to buy, what I need to look for, you know, ideas, etc. And I always save these catalogs. We all have them right now this time of year. And all I can say is I'm done with those. I know that if I need a sewing gift, all I have to do is go to Moore's. Now there's so many things to think about when you're getting a gift. And this could be something that you could show to your husband. You can um, show to your kids. You can basically say, okay, look, watch this video. She's going to give you some ideas on what I would like or what we can get for people that love to sew. It doesn't matter if you're a seamstress, you're sewing clothes, if you are making quilts, if you love machine embroidery. These are all items that are going to benefit us as sewers. So the first thing that I like to bring up and that I think is a great gift is something to organize your sewing um, notions, your threads. It could be anything. So think about organization. It could be a bag. It could be a container next to the sewing machine. There are so many things that we have to offer. But organization is one of those things that are going to help keep your things together so that you can focus on what you love to do sewing. So organization is a great gift. The other one is consumables. Now, I think a lot of times people think about, okay, I'm going to get my wife, you know, this type of thing. But the consumables are the things that we're going to use a lot of. And some of the consumables that I enjoy getting gifts are, are um, variegated threads, a line of thread colors. Think about it. We use a lot of white and black threads, especially when we're machine embroidering. So get those Floriani threads in those basic colors. Those are always going to be useful. And those are the ones we're going to run out of quicker. So I love that. The other thing is needles, machine needles. Why don't get someone that loves to sew the full line of needles that we have out there. So um, that way their machine, they never have to stop and go, I need to go to the store and get some more needles. They'll already have them. The other thing is stabilizers. Oh my golly, if you're machine embroidering and you're making something and you run out of stabilizer, um, to me it's such a bummer. So I like to make sure that I have stabilizers on hand at all time. And uh, you know, if it's no show mesh, if it's a sticky, a cutaway, it doesn't matter. Stabilizers are a great gift for any sewer out there. The other thing is, think about this, Moore's offers gift cards. Yeah, isn't that wonderful? So you can um, tell your husband, you know what? I want a Moore's gift card this year for Christmas. Um, he can stop by any of our stores and um, pick up a gift card in any denomination that we have. And um, also comfort. Think about this. We have these cool chairs that you can pick up that'll make sewing more pleasurable, 
no matter where you're sewing. So think of these cool chairs um, so that you're comfortable when you're sewing. Another thing that is oftentimes overlooked, and I think it's super important, is lighting. It is important that when you sew, you have the proper lighting. We have a line of daylight products that have lights that will attach to your machine, that will stand on the floor and illuminate everywhere that you're sewing. Um, we also have tabletop, clip-ons, so many options for the daylight company and things that will help illuminate your sewing. Fabrics are a great gift. Some of the ones that I love to do and I love to get is to grab a focal fabric, grab about five tone on tones that coordinate it, and I think it makes a perfect gift for any sewer out there. Another thing is, oh, think about it, a new sewing machine. I guarantee there is not a sewer out there that would say, no, I don't need a new machine. There's always bigger, better, newer, and um, I know that that would just make my day amazing <laughs> to get a new sewing machine. But another idea too is, think about it, a sewing machine for a young child. If you don't know what to get, your daughter, your granddaughter, a friend, a neighbor, think about a sewing machine. Not only will that give them something to focus on and something to do, give them a brand new hobby, but it's something that they're gonna value and it's a skill that they can use for their whole life. So sewing machines are practical and wonderful gifts to give. Another thing is furniture. Think about it. Your sewing machine needs a place to sit and feel at home and a cabinet by Koala or TaylorMade um, and other options that we have in the store are the perfect thing. So if you don't know what to get to your spouse or you don't know what to get someone, think about a sewing cabinet. It's a great gift. Tech support stuff. Um, now, when I say tech support, I'm thinking um, you know, like software, um, embroidery designs. Um, another thing that is a great uh, add-on gift for anyone that's already sewing or doing machine embroidery is an AccuQuilt system or a scan and cut. Both of those are gonna help cut out things to make your sewing more pleasurable. And then one of my other all-time favorite gifts to get are scissors. I know I've got a ton and I can tell you that um, always having a fresh pair of scissors, they do dole um, and having them in multiple places is always a good thing. So getting someone a new type of scissors, a snip, a, a, you know, a large ginger, it doesn't matter what it is, but scissors make great gifts. And then don't forget, Whenever you're giving gifts this time of year, stocking stuffers. Notions make perfect stocking stuffers. Throwing in some spools of thread, some needles, all of those little things that we love are notions. One of the things, think about the things that I love. Professional tool turners, um, glue sticks. There are so many things that I repeat time and time again that would be the perfect stocking stuffer for any sewer out there. So that's kind of it. I wanted to run down things so that when I need to fill my list for my friends, my sewing friends, what to get them for Christmas, there's options and I don't have to do the legwork anymore because I know I'm going to get Linda some notions and Lisa some fabrics. And Rhonda, I'm not telling you what you're going to get this year. You're going to have to wait because you watch these videos. Anyways, that's about it for gift giving. And I hope that I have inspired you and uh, made you think about, oh yeah, that's a good idea. And don't forget, you can always send this link to your husband so that he can watch and he can be inspired too. And that about wraps it up for this week's More Sewing with Michelle. I appreciate you taking the time to hang out with me a little bit today. And I look forward to seeing you on the next more Sewing with Michelle. Until then, bye-bye!